The Florida strawberry industry is the largest producer of strawberries in the winter market because of our unique environment here. The farm gate value of those strawberries, just the farm gate value, is approaching $400 million every year. And when you multiply that by all of the industries that surround and support the strawberry industry, the economic impact in central Florida is about a billion dollars a year. The University of Florida Strawberry Breeding Program has had a history over the years of providing most of the varieties that are used by this industry. I'm following a long line of other breeders in Florida. Some um, selection started happening through the USDA Ag Experiment Station back in the 1940s near Plant City, Florida. And so I'm really just continuing the progress that they started. Essentially we're using traditional breeding methods, but uh, we're also starting to use more DNA marker technology in order to inform our breeding and to predict which crosses are likely to be a best or which are the best cross combinations through some traditional quantitative genetics. We have about 10,000 seedlings in this field. It costs a lot of money to put this many plants in a field and to evaluate them, to spray them, to pick them for an entire season. So if we can have better predictive technology based on DNA information, that's going to help us to get that kind of information. Flavor is a very important goal of the breeding program. It's a challenge to find strawberries that are consistently good tasting in a wide range of environments and time points. So that's a big challenge of breeding for flavor. And that's why I have to walk these fields week in and week out throughout the entire season. And we have to do a lot of work to evaluate flavor. I work with a number of researchers in IFAS um, who are sensory specialists. And also, we've been working together to look at the chemical components that are important to flavor. It's very exciting to be able to help release a product to somebody that increases their li livelihood and sustains the economics of the area and uh, gives a healthy product for people to eat.